Okay, so this video is for any student who is unfamiliar with Canvas. Um, Canvas is going to be our online classroom. This is where all of your assignments will be, the lectures, discussions, everything is situated in this particular app, this website. Um, so before I begin, uh, because I am a, a professor, um, I have access to a lot more features than you'll see. So I've uh, switched it to student view. In student view, not everything is going to be for me specifically, not everything is going to show up. So for example, I wanted to show you confer zoom. Um, however, I can't show it to you as a test student. So, um, that is this right here. Um, if I click on this, I'll get an error message for me because I don't actually have a user profile. This is a, a, an empty profile just to make sure I'm testing other options that are within um, Canvas. So, but when you log in, because you do have an account, you, get, you have an email, when you click on this, it will show you a calendar um, to make an appointment for my office hours. So at the end of this video, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like when I get out of student view um, back into my regular view. So when you first log in, it should take you to your home page. Um, at the top, you're going to have any announcements. Right now, there's only one announcement, and that is get the Remind app, and it gives you the instructions. So um, you can access announcements here, or you can click here and access them there, right? Um, within this particular announcement is telling you how to get the Remind app and join our class for the summer. Um, the second thing you'll notice is the actual homepage. It gives you the Welcome to African American History online um, and just the overview of what this class is about. It also shows you um, my contact information. Um, usually this does have my office phone number, um, but because we are in, still in quarantine, um, I'm not on campus. So if you call that number, I probably won't get your message. Um, so the best way to get in contact with me is what I've listed here. And that's either through my email or through Remind or the Confer Zoom doing my office hours. Okay. Um, this is office hours here. It doesn't really say it just has a little clock, but no, that's what it is. Um, I will be available every Wednesday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. for the duration of this class. Um, it also gives you a little note about online classes. This is specifically, again, for people who this may be your first or uh, you have very little experience with online classes. Um, so just a little message for you. Um, before I get down to these down here, I want to show you also on the side of this um, is your to-do list. These are everything that is due um, and they're sorted by the due date. So for example, your orientation review quiz is due June um, 10th. That one changed that, but it says June 9th. Everything has the due date, the amount of points is worth, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, and so this is a shortcut in case you want to just go ahead and get into the assignments. You also have your view course stream, right? Um, this is any recent activities that um, you've done or that I've done. Obviously, there's nothing here, right? Because I haven't done anything. Um, we're going to just go back. And then um, you can also go to the calendar, which is here. Um, and it can tell, it also shows you um, all of the due dates, right? All of the things that are due uh, within this. So for us, our little uh, uh, color is going to be green. Right. Um, there's also some undated things in, in case there's like um, assignments where there is no date. You'll find them under here. But know that you can find your assignments either through um, the calendar, um, through the course homepage um, here or through the assignments uh, link that's on the side here. Um, so you have all of your assignments now on the assignments link. You have upcoming assignments, right? This is just what's coming up now. You can also change the sort. This is right now sorted by date. You can sort by type, right? So there's um, different types and these types correspond with the assignment summary. Sorry, um, I'm at home, my dogs, somebody's probably passing and they're going crazy. Um, um, so sorry about that. So again, the type 
of assignments corresponds with what we talked about in the assignments in the assignment summary on your syllabus, right? So you have your course orientation, you have, um, sorry about that. I, I don't know what this is, go away. You have your review quizzes, um, you have your course discussions, your weekly glossary, and then if there is any extra credit assignments, it'll be listed here, right? Um, so let's go back to home. So now at the end of the home page, you have some links here. Um, you have the start here, um, syllabus, which links to your online syllabus. This takes you to the model module page. This is probably going to be the button you use most. Um, these are all the resources that I've gathered for you. Um, I will be also updating this tab with resources for um, scholarships, for example, especially um, if you saw the Black Lives Matter video, um, I'll be putting um, resources for that there. And then if you have questions, this links you to the question form. OK, so let's go ahead and click start here. Start here is going to take you to your very first orientation module. So let's click and you can see it here. Now it's um, blurred out because this actually doesn't open until tomorrow. Uh, but by the time you get this video, this will all be open. So I suggest that when you first log in um, and you go to your home page, I would click the start here. This will get you right into the course ready to go. So let's go ahead and go back. But um, this is the first, the orientation. Um, the syllabus, again, will take you to the online syllabus, right? And one of the uh, dope things about this online syllabus is it has this navigation here um, so that you don't have to go through all. So, for example, maybe you want to know what is what is the student learning outcomes, right? And so instead of like trying to scroll down here, right, try to figure out where it is, you can just go to this navigation and bam, it will take you right there to the student learning outcomes. Most often you'll probably look at it for the required text materials and then also down here, the assignment summary. Um, the second thing about the syllabus is it does have a course summary here. This is just a list of all of the, um, all of the assignments that are due, right? Um, on your syllabus, I have the actual structure of our online course schedule. So refer to that if you get confused. Um, yeah. So let's go back to home. If you click on modules, um, you can click here. This will take you to the modules page, which is the same as where the orientation, because it is a module. But if I close here, you'll see the rest of the modules that are listed. Remember that the modules will be open weekly, right? Based on that course schedule on the paper version, on the PDF version of your syllabus. Um, so as you go to modules, you'll start to gradually see more modules up here every week until we're done with the class. So one thing I wanted to talk to you about as far as modules go is the, this is the orientation. I'll update this to say orientation. Um, but there's something here next to it says complete one item. That's because within this module, there are requirements. So if you can see that under welcome to ETH, it says view you will not complete this module until you actually view the um the video that are within this um so if you see something that says view it says view here those are usually videos or instructions for you to look at to read to watch um and then the system will automatically um note that you have viewed that page uh, and then that would be marked as completed for the other assignments, you'll see something that says submit, right? Submit, view, submit is the same as view. You must submit this um, assignment in order for you to complete this module. The last thing is the review quiz, which I'm still setting up. So right now it says zero points. Um, again, um, this will be worth 15 points. So you have to get a perfect score um, in order for you to move on to module one. Here's how you know if you need to do something before you can move on to the next module. 
you will see this prerequisite. It says here, welcome to African-American history. What does that mean? It means you need to complete everything in this module in order for this module to open for you. This will be, excuse me, this will be the only time I set this up. This is literally because we are online and the module for orientation is mandatory. Um, and so if you don't complete the orientation, you cannot get into the course. Okay. So this is the only week that will be like that. The rest of the weeks um, will be more stable where you will have access to all of the modules for that week. And you can do any module within that week, whenever you want. My suggestion is to go in order because again, your discussions are due daily, right? So I would go in the order of due dates. The next button is the resource button. These are all the resources that I think you will need in order to uh, be supported within this class. Um, as you can see, there's um, four categories. There's study skills, writing help, help with Canvas, and APA help. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Um, I will click on some just so you can see kind of what it looks like. Um, the page for study skills, strategies, and resources. Um, you have the overview, you have study skills, study habits, etc. cetera. Um, there's some note taking strategies some time management, uh, strategies, some reading strategies, right? Um, I suggest that you utilize these, um, course resources, but if you do not the course resource that I really want you to utilize, cause I get so many questions is about the format that we're using within the class and that's APA. Remember the American Psychological Association Citation System. So I have included all of this here for you, right? Um, specifically the type of references that you'll need, right? Is here. Remember you have that critical analysis. The sample paper format is going to be here. So be sure to make sure that you're looking at these um, these are uh, a lot of these are going to be on this orientation quiz. So I am expecting you to review a little bit of it now. And then again, the got questions uh, will take you to this got questions um, discussion form. Um, now this is locked because everything is locked until tomorrow. But once you get this um, email and once you get access to canvas all of this stuff will be unlocked so that's it for the home page um i want to just now kind of uh, move the attention to the navigation bar here uh specifically because we already went through assignments we went through modules we went through the syllabus and we went through um announcements um, the next thing I want to show you is this tab called people. The people's tab is where you're going to find all of your classmates. Um, it also shows any groups that you're a part of here in this tab. Um, it will also show your name and your section, right? So notice that everybody's either in section one, section two, or section three. That's going to come up when we talk about um, the film uh, series because section one will complete their paper together, but section two and three will have a discussion and so forth and so on. I'll do another uh, video um, just in case, but please note that you can find what section you're in here and then you can um, do the assignment accordingly. The second thing I want to uh, show you is that you always have access to your grades. There's no need for you to um, ask me where you are in the class. You have access to your grade. So if you want to know what your current grade is, um, you can go to grades here and it will show you all of your grades for every assignment. And then at the bottom, it'll show you the uh, total grade here um, out of the points awarded. Now, I don't have it here, um, but oh, yes, I do. I do. But if you click on one of the things, if there's no grade there, you could do like what if grade. So for example, this is out of zero because I haven't set this up yet. But let's just say um, I want to know what my grade will be if I do just the land acknowledgement, which is worth five points, 
um, this um, who are you, which is worth 10 points, but then maybe I only get half credit. I'm only going to turn in five, right? And then for these, I'm like, I'm not going to do those. I'm just going to see what, what is my grade, right? So as you can see, you'll have a 40%, which is obviously is an F, right? <laughs> so 20 out of 50, that's 40%, right? So you can see where your grade is. Um, it doesn't show you the letter grade, but you can, um, but you can look at your uh, syllabus to see what percentage does that um, does that go to. So I'll show you. Let's say so we got that forty percent all the way at the bottom here. The grading scale, right? It's going to be if you want to um, look at the syllabus navigation. It's going to be under the assignment summary. So scroll down just a little. So for forty percent um, would be here. Of course, grades equally 56 or lower, right? So you could look at that percentage, go to your syllabus and say, okay, I have a 76%. Um, I could tell you right now, 76% is gonna be a C, but I have a 78%. Now, normally that would be a C, but again, I've curved these grades already. So that means that you would be in the B course. So that's how you would um, use grades. The other thing I want to show you is that every student who's enrolled at Fullerton College has access to the entire Microsoft Office 365 suite. What does that include? That includes um, Word document, that includes Excel, that includes PowerPoint, that includes some other stuff that I'm not familiar with because I'm a Mac user. <laughs> so, um, but please know that uh, you do have access. And in order to use it, once you click on the link there, they'll ask you to log in. Your login is going to be failure because I'm a test student, but they're going to take you to the login page. Your login is going to be your student ID and your password or your um, email address and your password. So, most often, though, it's going to be your student ID and your password. And we already talked about Confer Zoom. The last thing I want to talk about in this navigation panel is Fullerton College uh, Library. The Fullerton College Library is still loading here. Um, allows you access to their online catalog. Um, so I usually um, recommend that when you're in this um, to go to either OneSearch or catalog. Databases seem really overwhelming. And then journals, if you know the name of the journal, you can use that. Um, if you decide to use database, my the best database I think is JSTOR, right? Because they're just um, visually, they're just simpler, um, less overwhelming. And everything that you get from JSTOR is going to be academic, okay? All right. So the last thing I want to show you is the uh, conversations. That's where it has the inbox. Okay, it says uh, deny because I'm a student. So let's go ahead and leave student view. Okay, so now we're in this inbox, right? And you'll have the same thing. Um, I have multiple courses because, yeah, I have multiple courses. Um, if you want to send me an email, you'll just compose it. Um, select our course. Uh, it should be probably the only course that you have. That's us. Um, and then it's going to ask you, who do you want to send it to? You, it has everybody in the class, the teachers, which would be just me. Um, if you wanted to send it to a course section, that shouldn't really, or your student group, right? So remember, it will also give you students too. Um, you can email me or you can email your classmates. Everyone has access here. Again, don't forget to put your name, um, the week that you're talking about, and then the assignment that you're referring to, all right, in the subject line. Okay, so now that we are done with the syllabus, we're done with Canvas, um, it's time for you to take that orientation review quiz, okay? So... Remember, you have to get a perfect score. It's going to be straight up easy. I'm not trying to trick you or do anything, um, but, you know, make sure that you get a perfect score. You'll know if you got one or not, because if you get one, you know, you'll be able to move on to module one. If you do not get one, then you know that you need to redo that quiz because it's not a perfect score. All right. 
Okay, so I'll see y'all this week. Can't wait to meet you.